the preseason favorites here in the NEC, the St. Francis Red Flash. Joining us, NEC Social Media Day at Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Dave and Joe with you, being joined by head coach Rob Krimmel, by Jamal King, and uh, first team all league player. And coach, start with you. Uh, a very deep group. How do you find minutes for all these great players? It's going to be a challenge, but it's a good challenge. I was talking to Coach before, uh, you know, last year with Jamal and, and Andre and Keith. I think going into it, you knew that those were the three guys that were going to get most of the shots. And um, this year with Isaiah Blackman coming back and, and some guys that were here last year that have, that have gotten better with some new pieces, it's certainly going to be a challenge for a point guard here to make sure everybody's happy, but uh, no, no one better than Jamal to do that. And Jamal, one of the guys that you have that uh, doesn't get a lot of acclaim, but I think is one of the best players in the league is Andre. Andre Wolford, one of the best three-point shooters in the country. That's a good drive and kick option for you. Oh uh, Yeah, well, Andre and a whole bunch of other players, we, we got a high-power offense. Uh, Andre has been coming from a walk-on to a scholarship player, and I just he's a tremendous person and can shoot the lights out better than anybody in the NCAA. And we talked earlier in the open about the Northeast Conference 10 teams I counted 40 upper level games you know it's almost like the NEC has a slogan we're NEC we back down to nobody talk to me about your schedule it'll be a challenge early on but <laughs> one of the things that we wanted to do with our schedule this year was to put our guys in positions um, where we knew that they'd be in at the end of the year and play teams that, that would present some challenges for us. And at our level, we have to raise some money. And so those games that we play on the road, we're raising some money. And we get to play in some really neat environments. You know, we're going to Poly Pavilion and getting to play in North Carolina and Virginia Tech and opening up at Buffalo. And last year, getting to play at Duke. I mean, there's some places that these guys will be able to remember for a lifetime. And, uh, you know, as coaches, we're excited about those opportunities, too. We'd be remiss if we didn't talk about uh, Keith Braxton, who is probably the best player in the league. Certainly a well-rounded, talented, not afraid to hit the big shot. Uh, we'll start with you, but I'd like to hear from both of you on Keith and what makes him special. Keith Braxton is a tremendous player. Uh, so versatile. Can rebound, pass, can shoot. I mean, you can't ask nothing more of him. He's, he's a tremendous player. He's a great leader. He leads us every day, and I'm actually happy to have him on my team. <laughs> Uh, he's uh, he hit the nail on the head versatile you know when you have a young man that can grab a rebound and take it the length of the court and score and it takes the pressure off Jamal uh, who handles the ball a lot for us but when you have multiple guys that can make plays and I think Keith finished second to Jamal on the team last year in assist makes my job a lot easier but he is such a talented kid and I know he's worked hard to expand his game this summer and I'm anxious to see how he comes out and performs Jamal you join the team your freshman year at mid year you average two points a game. Malik Harmon goes down you take advantage of it 11 points last year 18 points this year preseason first team now when I talk to coach Krimmel about you he mentions one word competitive talk to me about the competitiveness that you had that's made you a better player and you ready for this Dave he won the pumpkin carving contest recently at coach Krimmel's house so talk to us about all that multi talented what, what, what makes you tick <laughs> um my competitiveness is something that uh, when I first got recruited here coach Krim wanted me to bring to the to the universe to the university and um, and I just wanted to just touch it with everybody on the team and now everything we do as a team is just competitiveness and going back to my sophomore year I mean I, Malik went down but I was just ready to compete with him for the spot and just mm -hmm. it's just fun competing everything if you do if you do it competitively it's just gonna be fun and that's I've been always been my motto and I always been short so I always had to play with a lot of heart and competitiveness and having heart on the same thing is just it's just gonna help. Going All right the red flash are loaded and eight of the ten coaches in the NEC have said that they are the preseason favorite trying to win the league for the first time since 1991 uh, guys safe travels and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. OK coach Kremel and Jamal joining us here at Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Stay tuned. Coming up next on NEC Front Row and ESPN 3, it's St. Francis, Brooklyn, the Terrier.
The St. Francis Terriers are with us here at Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Dave Popkin, Joe DeSantis, the coach, back with you. Glenn Breika is the head coach of St. Francis. And uh, another Glenn, Sanabria.